Благодаря ви, че дойдохте след кафе паузата. Знам, че е дълъг ден и всички сте изморени. Имаме изключително интересен лектор, който е пропътувал много дълъг път, тъй като идва от Македония. Не е спал за да бъде тук сред нас. Презентацията ще е на английски, въпреки че съм сигурен, че и иначе ще се разбираме. Затова ще направя и кратко представяне на английски и след това сцената е негова. Okay, so thank you very much for joining after the, the coffee break. Now we have a speaker, Ilya is coming from our neighbors from Macedonia. He hasn't slept to be here with us. He has been driving for seven hours just because he wants to be here with you and to share his experience in something that's super interesting, especially for those who are interested in e-commerce. So please let us give a round of applause for our international speaker here. Thank you very much. Come on, we can do it even better. Come on. Thank you. All right. That's you. Thank you. Uh, it's a great honor to be here. Uh, thank you for inviting me. Uh, my name is Ilya Serafimov. I am a Bachelor of Computer Science, Applied Computer Science. Uh, at the moment, I am on postgraduate school in IT management. Uh, I started my own company, IT company, in 2008, right uh, before my, my graduation. And uh, I always wanted to be, uh, to be independent, to be creative, and to work in the IT, uh, in the IT field. Uh, my first uh, projects, my first ideas were uh, developing an ERP software. And with my best friend Igor, who is here today in the audience supporting me, we succeed to develop some software and we started to, to sell it to companies. Uh, one time, a friend of mine that I really appreciate is a very successful, very experienced businessman, entrepreneur. He asked me what, what I do. And I told him that uh, I opened a small company, IT company. And he said, oh, that's great. What are you developing? And I said, uh, e ERP software. I, I was very, very proud. And he said, why? There are so many ERP softwares around you, not only in your city, but in Macedonia and even in the, in the, in the region. Uh, World-class ERP softwares are getting localized, or Europe-class softwares are getting localized in every, every regional language, and they're selling it. They have more resources than you. They have more uh, options than you. They, they make combinations. With their, with their software packages. When are you going to, uh, going to catch up with that? And also, like I said, there are so many ERP softwares. Why are you trying to, uh, like we say in the Balkans, invent uh, another hot water? Uh, that got me thinking. It, it, he, he was right. It, uh, it wasn't very creative from, from me, from, from us, uh, thing to do. Uh, in the next couple of years, that was 2008, in the next couple of years started the, the tornado of, of websites. Every company in Macedonia was wanting a, a, a website. They were building, they were getting their first websites. It was the era of HTML without CSS. So you, you can imagine the, the options that we had to, to be creative. We had the Microsoft front page, 2003, like an environment for, for developing websites. And we were very happy when Macromedia was uh, was launching their their uh, their solution, the the Dreamweaver. Uh, also, I remember the the Flash. The Flash was very popular uh, tool for develop for animations for developing 
website. Every company in Macedonia was wanting uh, the upgrade from HTML or, or PHP to, to Flash. We, we were working uh, very much on the, on the websites. Uh, the, the software, the, the software development even, even came third at one time because on, on the first place, on the very first place, were the websites, the, the web development, the web design. The, the second place, we started because we saw an opportunity, we started working with domains and hosting. Because uh, we started make packages, we saw opportunity here because we were uh, selling a lot of websites and why to pay some other other provider, etc. And the software came came third. Our our biggest love, our reason to to start an IT business. Um, over the years. We started to acknowledge that the e-commerce is starting to, to take a great part on the market. Now the, the regular websites, the clients, were calling us to transform them into web shops. Maybe not at first totally functional web shops, but at least catalog web shops. Not to, to buy the product, but to have all the products divided by categories, subcategories, and so the people can click it, read the specifications, the description, saw the price, and then if they wanted to buy it, to call the office. In 2012, we, we, uh, we, we started to deal with that. We started to, uh, to develop uh, customized solutions. We started to develop uh, our own uh, CMS. And uh, in 2012, we meet met the, the WordPress. It was, I always uh, like to joke about it, it was a love at first sign. When I saw what the WordPress can do, uh, it, it was amazing. Um, I, I had heard about it before, but I didn't pay attention. I had a couple of projects that were done in uh, Jomla, and that was it. I, I was always reading about WordPress, I was reading about Drupal, I was reading about all the others who were trying to get their fair share on the market. We started to look at the, at the WordPress. That was a time when our colleague Blagoj joined us at the company. He came very fresh with the ideas and the love for WordPress and we started to developing web shops, teams, and of course we started to combine them with the plugin WooCommerce. Uh, uh, WordPress site cannot be web shop without the, the WooCommerce plugin. We started to, to offer this new our our uh, idea on the market, and uh, we uh, we started to to see that there were there were some not solved problems at the companies. Um, they were afraid of the double tasks that will that will come up for them they were they were afraid that the person who is entering every day the data in the ERP software it will need to enter the data in the webshop and backwards 
all the cells and orders from the web shop, it will need to be put it in the ERP software so the so the stock match. Excuse me. Oh. And I'm clicking this. I think the presentation is going. Yeah, these, these are the numbers that impressed us, that the development, the growth of e-commerce in, in, in Europe, we were, we were uh, following it uh, very closely through the years. This is, the, this is exactly right, like it was from 2012 until today. And these are the numbers in Macedonia. So uh, they were also getting very, very big, very uh, impressive from one year to another. This is, in 2018, Macedonia as a country, their citizens, had a growth of nearly 70% in just one year. Because the people were not, were not feeling uh, safe with the... With the payment cards, with their debit cards or, or credit cards or, or whatever, they were not feeling safe with the delivery. And that is an issue that is, uh, uh, that is smaller and smaller with the, with the time. So th th this is one, one proof that in, uh, in 2008, the numbers are by 70% better than in 2017. I was talking about the problem that we, that we noticed. The problem was two tasks for one person or hiring another person just for taking care of the web shop. The companies were not very happy about that. We even have had cases like one very big company in Macedonia, in Skopje, a bookstore, uh, a network or franchise of bookstores all over Macedonia with thousands of thousands of product, products and when we came by one day and we asked them how are you satisfied with your web shop they say god damn you we are we are very busy our our colleagues are killed every day with putting products, they are making mistakes, our stocks are not, are not synchronized and such. And we, we acknowledge that, that there is a problem, that nobody is solving it at, at the moment. So, we made a research at first. Uh, we already loved the WordPress. The WordPress was getting bigger and bigger. I'll come back to this slide. Was taking care of his market share, was expanding, was conquering the world. And we had no doubt that the solution, it must be connected, it must be uh, very close closely related with the WordPress and with the WooCommerce. That was our first conclusion and it was, it was uh, no doubt about it. 
The other part was how to solve the ERP software, the, the ERP software part. We cannot make a solution, a model, or a plugin that is working with every ERP ever. So, with our research, we saw that there is a Slovenian company called Data Lab that is also conquering the market in 11 countries in Europe, including Macedonia, including Bulgaria. And we took this ERP software, we started to use it for our personal use, for our company, and then we started to developing the model, the issue model for, for the Pantheon software. Pantheon software, the Pantheon software, is available in 11 countries, Bulgaria, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Montenegro, Croatia, Macedonia, Kosovo, Romania, Slovenia, Serbia, Ukraine and Slovakia. It also has an international interface on UK English and US English that can be used by any other country. They are developing it in opening office in many other countries at the moment. It has 57,631 licensed users at the moment. This is fresh number. This is 15 minutes. I changed the number 15 minutes before, before I, I entered here. And it was no doubt about for us that we must figure it out how to connect, how to synchronize the Pantheon ERP software with the WordPress WooCommerce webshop. So we developed this module, which is not only, only plugin, it has another part. It has a desktop part that, that launch the data into the plugin that is, that is installed and configured with the WooCommerce plugin. And all that is working perfectly. All the data, all the necessary fields, the image, the feature image, the attributes, everything is working perfectly. And from now on, the Pantheon, the Pantheon users can very, very easy migrate to WordPress if they aren't already, or also the WordPress users can migrate to Pantheon. So we made a couple of solutions, not only the plugin. Now we are offering the plugin on the market, we are offering the, the WordPress with WooCommerce on the market, and we are offering the Pantheon on the market. So it's a win-win-win it's a for us. Thank you very much. This was shortly as I can do. So, if you have any questions for me, I will be more than happy to, to answer them for you. Anybody? Don't be shy. Okay, maybe I can ask a question that comes to my mind to break the ice because I'm okay, sure there are a lot of questions because it was a great presentation. Uh, so you shared a lot of insights about Macedonia and how uh, the penetration of uh, those tools in Macedonia. Do you have any statistics about Bulgaria, number of, uh, of uh, yes. shops and so on? It, it would be great if you can Yes, share. but, but uh, you will forgive me because the, the, those are uh, unofficial. Uh, we are from Strumica. Strumica is a, is a town uh, literally on the border with Bulgaria. 
uh, the the municipality that that they that we we border to is Petric. So uh, we often came, we are often coming to to Bulgaria for many reasons, for for shopping, for for everything, uh, and sometimes for no reasons at all. Uh, Petric, Sandanski, Blagojevgrad, and Sofia are very familiar to uh, to us, and the first thing that I, uh, as an IT student, uh, I, I saw in Bulgaria, it was I think 2006-2007, Macedonia was not having a single web shop. Uh, the Macedonian banks were not uh, offering, they, they didn't have the service, like CPay or Cassis or whatever, they, they, they were not uh, offering the, the service of e-commerce. So you can connect with them, you can open a, a bank account or sub-account and, and stuff like this. Uh, the, the only company that had a web shop in, in Macedonia was uh, Deutsche Telekom. And their web shop was hosted in Germany. <laughs> so it, it was the only one. So they, they, they start making commercials, they start ma making marketing. Uh, buy it, it, if you buy the mobile phone uh, from, the, from the web shop, it will be, it will be free delivery, 10% uh, less. And nobody w was doing that. Nobody was, was knowing how to do it. Nobody was trusting it and, and, and stuff. In Bulgaria, I, I, I joke about this un until today. I joke about this 13 years. I was saying in Bulgaria, that is near, near us, the, uh, how do you call it, kiosk traffic, <laughs> they have web shops. How, how, how is it possible? Everything is online. Everything is, uh, they, they, they do everything. Uh, even, even, even piracy. <laughs> Zamunda is very popular in, in Macedonia. <laughs> and and uh, I didn't know how, how we are not, how we are not tracking this. How, how is, how is like we, we, when we are crossing the border, we are going into another planet of, of IT. And I was very nervous about it. So uh, this process in Macedonia took, took, uh, a lot of years. Even 2012, when we met uh, WordPress and WooCommerce and we started to build web pages, the banks were uh, horrible to work with. They were uh, offering us on every client that want to, I think two banks started to have e-commerce and if you want to have an e-commerce or if you want to have a web shop, you should pay the bank uh, about 25 euros a month provision if you want, uh, they don't care if you want to have zero transactions. And they were taking from 5 to 7% from transactions. They didn't care. They, they said uh, we had clients that were, that, that were uh, very big companies, clients with, uh, I remember Nikop. When, when we were trying to, to uh, put it on, on a web shop, on an uh, e-commerce system, uh, they were having, it's a, it's a security agency, uh, they were having uh, 5,400 customers. And they were very interesting in e-commerce. And they even came with us in the bank in a, in a high level uh, negotiation. And they say, four and a half percent is all we can do. And friends from Bulgaria tell me that here there is no, uh, there is, there are no monthly provision. There are only transactions. The transaction provision are, are like one and a half per percentage. And we were like, wow. So we had a couple of, uh, couple of clients that we, that we, uh, that we mi migrate them into Bulgaria, into Allianz Bank, 
and not only for the e-commerce and for the PayPal. Macedonia is not having PayPal also. We don't know why is that. And uh, so <laughs> this is my unofficial uh, comparison Macedonia-Bulgaria in the, in the uh, field of e-commerce. You guys are great. <laughs> yeah, I mean it, I mean it. Yeah, in that field. <laughs> thank, thank you very much for this, uh, this uh, answer. It was amazing. Keep in mind you haven't tried the e-governments in, in Bulgaria. It, it's not so great. <laughs> oh, okay. That, that's all, that, that, that's uh, everywhere. So we, we had a new, new tax system this year and the system collapsed. Uh, no one could use it. Uh, the companies we were uh, we needed to generate this number that we must we, uh, we must uh, put the, the 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 value in total. So the the Ministry of Finance will will uh, transfer the money like, like it should. So there are no mistakes or there are no. Uh, Ta tax fraud and everything went down the hill. So we were missing uh, paychecks. So we were we are uh, making our our monthly payments for us in the company. Everybody, the the, the money are gone. Nobody knows where it is. The, the software is collapsing. People getting fired. Actually, nobody get fired. I don't know why. No, nobody. Nobody is, is blamed. That, that's that's bad. Nobody is taking consequences. Yes. A question. Uh, yes, please. Can you share any part that you uh, fail or struggle to fully uh, op uh, automate and optimize the work between the shop and the let's say production or any other part? Of, uh, a thing that is hard to uh, optimize or yes. to automate. Yeah. Through, through your software, any kind of example or something uh, like a bit more specific for the, for the process uh, of automation? That is you, you mean problems? Yes, some, some, some kind of problem that uh, you found uh, difficult. difficult to solve, yes. In, in, in this exact case, with the shop? Yes, exactly. The image, the feature image. We couldn't solve that. In the, in the Pantheon database, there are encrypted in some way that only they know. So until we crack it, we had a problem for synchronizing, for transferring the image. All the data, no problem. All the fields, even the custom fields, no problem. The feature image, we <laughs> kill ourselves. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I think we have time for one or two more questions over there. Okay. Please. Yeah, um, thanks for the presentation. Um, it's my I was pleasure. also getting super excited about ERP last year, and I was looking in, into Udo, or formerly Open ERP. And uh, as we know, there's like lots of uh, software already out there that solves the thing. So um, I'm gladly I talked to somebody who's actually doing implementations for them. And he said, yeah, don't do it, because the problem is not the software. It's actually the adoption of the users to use the software in the end. So uh, implementing ERP is like really, really big. Um, do the, so is your process now to actually leverage the customer base from Pantheon and you can focus on the on making the WooCommerce solution for them. Is this like uh, did this make your life a lot easier? Would you recommend this as a learning also from saying you don't need to create everything yourself because it's very hard? Yes. Uh, not creating everything by yourself. It's the maybe the most valuable lesson that I've learned in my in my life. My my almost eleven years of. Of, uh, of experience in the not only in the IT field in the in the in the business field uh, at all. Uh, when I I, I think uh, you all will agree with me when the when the 
CMSs were, were, were uh, coming out, uh, everybody was talking bad about them. Uh, the, that they are not perfect, that they are not protected enough, that uh, the clients were uh, the clients were saying, what, what is this? Uh, this is a WordPress. You took this from the internet. It's it's all uh, already done, and you want to pay me for something that you only took from internet and uh, put it uh, uh, in, 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 into my service, and uh, they, they they were not understanding. Um, but uh, but it was uh, like a two or three years process where the the, the WordPress uh, started to be to be acknowledged uh, like something very normal, like something uh, like something uh, default because uh, it uh, everyone that is smart enough saw that. Uh, the website that we are building or the web shop is like they told us to, so it cannot be uh, taken from internet and just just uh, put it on the on uh, just just launch it. Uh, and the, and when they were giving uh, you know uh, let's put it this here, then let's put it like this. I don't like it like this. I want more options. These options I don't want. And uh, when they saw that we are developing for them, they, they were they were fine. Also, they saw that there is one price for WordPress and WooCommerce and everything that is uh, uh, content management uh, based, and that is definitely a very, very different price when someone wants a fully customable uh, solution for, for, they, for their problems or, or ideas. And uh, I was very happy, uh, happy uh, with that, because uh, I think uh, by the end of the day, the most important thing is solving the problem, finding the solution. It doesn't matter if you find it through uh, something that someone already found it, or you will, uh, you will be uh, trying to find it yourself, so that's a uh, very long time, longer time for you, for the client, uh, more money for the client, or, or less for you if, if the client does not accept your, your time billing and, and uh, such. So uh, it's very, very important for me. It's uh, like I said. It's one of the most valuable, uh, less, maybe the most valuable lesson that I've uh, that I've learned. But also, uh, I'm not I'm not 100% sure how it works in Bulgaria. But in Macedonia, there is a lack of creativity. Uh, every every uh, IT engineer that is that is coming out for, from the from the faculty uh, is looking for a job. Says, okay, and now I'm a, now I'm a bachelor, and uh, I need someone to to hire me. And uh, when you hire them, they say, okay, now uh, give me something to work, or I will sit like this all day. And with with just a little bit of creativity, uh, we we are finding a solutions. They they're not they're not that that uh, hard. We're fixing a hole in the market, and maybe, maybe we we, we fixed hole in in eleven countries with uh, with with this. It, it 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 was not hard because you go on a meeting in a company, you say uh, hi, we are from Serafimov Group, uh, we are he uh, here to offer you a web shop. Uh, they say a web shop is a great idea, it's a great tool, no doubt about it. But who's gonna who's gonna uh, taking care of it, who's going to support it, who's going to do the uh, data entry. That's a, uh, another job for me, another, another open job for me, or some from the, from the uh, staff. I should put them more hours to do, to do this, and it's, it's not a not good idea at the moment uh, for me. And now with this, I think we're solving problems, and for another colleagues, even for the, for the competition. Thanks. Thank you.
I'd like to ask, um, is it hard to keep up with WooCommerce updates uh, in your company? I mean, uh, your product is mainly a plugin that you install in the WordPress platform, right? Yes. Uh, so is it hard to keep up with the constant WooCommerce updates or is it not that uh, challenging? Uh, it's not because uh, they are not the the the, the WooCommerce updates uh, lately are not that general are not that that main uh, so they can uh, to took us from the tracks the the they're getting better they they're putting it something minor and uh, uh, our our interest is the big the uh, the big picture so the big picture is is okay at the moment it's right on track right where we uh, want to be and of course in the future if woocommerce uh, or wordpress decide to make some general uh, change some major improvements or 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 changes of any kind of course that we will must uh, sit down and uh, and take care of it all right, thanks. And just one more short question yes, of course. about the uh, the business model of, of your um, solution. Is it like on a subscription basis or one-time fee? How do you charge people for it? Uh, it is subscription uh, thing uh, because anytime uh, when the when the client, when the company, when the partners want, they can just uh, cancel it. All right, thank you. Thank you. Um, I think it's just about time to close this session, so um, please uh, let us applause. Oh.